If limit switches are supplied with the Smart EHO, the limit switches will be factory set. The purpose of the limit switches are for position feedback and further adjustment of the limit switches are typically not required. If limit switches require adjustment, please make sure you disconnect power to the unit before changing the limit switch settings. You will be opening the electronic enclosure where components receive live power. The limit switch adjustments are found in a cover compartment in line with the valve stem and on the opposite side of the control box. Remove the limit switch compartment cover by loosening the four corner bolts retaining it. All covers have tapped holes for jack screws to aid in removing the cover. Use caution to not allow the cover to bind during removal. After removing the cover, you can use one of the screws to hold the compartment cover in place while you are working inside the unit. In this video, we have removed the encoder that resides on the top of the limit switches for viewability purposes. You can adjust your limit switches without having to remove the encoder. If the actuator is being installed in the hazardous area, use extreme care. This procedure requires the limit switch cover to be open while electrical power is connected to the unit. Follow these steps only when the atmosphere is free of explosive gases. The open and closed limit switches, highlighted here in green, are operated by target magnets, highlighted here in orange. The target magnets are mounted in a plastic disc that rotates with the actuator stroke. They must align above the limit switches in order to provide accurate position feedback. In order to adjust the limit switches of the Smart EHO, you will need to move the target magnets. First, ensure the actuator is in the closed position. Push down on the target magnet for close, limit switch 2, and move clockwise until it's off the limit switch. Now, push down and slide the target magnet for close limit switch 2 counterclockwise until it's aligned with the limit switch. It is important to always adjust a target magnet in the opposing direction of the valve travel to get an accurate setting. Then, you will need to verify continuity between the target magnet and the limit switch using a multimeter. Refer to your wiring diagram to determine which terminals you need to check for continuity. With the selector switch set to local, toggle the control selector knob to open and allow the actuator to travel to open position, rotated fully counterclockwise. Push down and slide target magnet for open limit switch 1 counterclockwise until it's off the switch. Now, push down and slide the target magnet for open limit switch 1 clockwise until it is aligned with the limit switch. Then, you will need to verify continuity between the target magnet and the limit switch using a multimeter. Toggle the control selector knob to close and allow the actuator to rotate clockwise to the fully closed position and check to see close limit switch 2 is working. Verify continuity with your multimeter. Cycle the actuator open and close a few times, checking the settings of close limit switch 1 and open limit switch 2. If you have a fail-safe open limit switch adjustment, you will follow the same procedures to set open limit switch 1 and close limit switch 2 as you did for the fail-safe close limit switch just discussed. If your unit utilizes four switches, limit switch 3 open and limit switch 4 close, for intermediate position feedback, adjust in the same manner. Look at these switches on the wiring diagram for exact configuration.